Hi guys and welcome to part 26 of ESP.NET MVC core tutorials. On this part we are going to learn about TAC helpers. We use the TAC helpers to enable server-side code to be rendered inside an HTML. We are going to put all the TAC helpers inside a folder which we are going to name TAC helpers. So let us create our first TAC helper and first TAC helper is going to be an email TAC helper. After we create the class we need to inherit from the base class which is the TAC helper class. We import the necessary namespace. So we are going to use this tech helper to show us a link. And when we click this link, we are going to send an email to a defined user. So for that, we need an address, which we are going to store in a public string property. And we are going to name it address. This is the address that we are going to use to send the email. And the second property that we are going to use is going to be of string type as well. And we are going to name this content. So this is simply the text that the user is going to see. For the tech helper to be created, we need to override the process void method. And this has two properties. The first one is the context, tag helper context, and the second one tag helper output. So we use the output to define the tag name. And we are going to use a as a tag name because we are going to create a hyperlink and we are going to use output to set some attributes for the a tag. So the first attribute that it's going to have is going to be the href. href attribute will have the default value of mail to, and we are going to mail this one to the address that we are going to add. And next we need to set the content to this attribute. So for that we write output.content that set content which is going to be the content let's save the changes but before we continue further let us include this in our view imports file so for that we go to view imports the c sharp html file and inside this file we add a new line which is add tag helper so this means that all the tag helpers inside the namespace defined should be known by our view the second one points to the assembly which contains tag helpers. Before we continue further, let us first build the project. We are going to use this property on our contact page. So let's go to the controllers folder and inside this folder we add a new controller. We name this controller contact controller. So here we simply change the i action result to view result because we are going to use this method to return a view. Next, we need to go to the views folder and inside the views folder, we create a new folder which needs to have the same name as our controller. So contact controller and inside this folder, we create a new view and we leave the name by default index the C sharp HTML. Below this paragraph, we are going to use our tag helper. So for that, we open a tag and we write the name of our tag helper, which was email tag helper. So I write email and we close the tag helper. Here we see that I get two properties which I need to fill in and these properties come from our tag helper, the address and the content. So the properties are address and the address is going to be .NET how at outlook.com and the next property is going to be email us. Let us run the application. So here we see our tag helper. You will see the name that we defined inside our code email us and the next property dotnet how outlook at outlook.com you see it at the bottom mail to dotnet how at outlook.com this is all for this part thank you for watching and see you on the next one